Must be Tilda, yeah? Yeah. How do you do? I'm good, how are you? And who's your puppy? This is Tank. Tank, I love it. <laughs> Hello, Tank. Hello. <laughs> He's like, I'm just comfortable here. Happy Saturday, by the way. Saturday? Oh, yes, it is. It is Saturday, yes. Thanks for just checking me on that. <laughs> are you sure about this? Do you know what you're talking about? <laughs> Have you been working for a while? Uh, yeah. So that's why you're losing frame of. Yeah, I do not pay attention to these. Not at all. What do you do for work, Tilia? I just work at Sport Check. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sport Check. Uh, do you know where it started? Where? Sport Check? Yeah. I don't. I think it started in Kamloops once upon a time. I think. No, hold on. Sport Check. Sport, Sport Mart. I'm thinking Sport Mart. Okay. Never mind. That's a different one. Never mind. <laughs> How long did it take to do your hair? Yeah. It took, I got this done two days ago. Two days ago? Yesterday, actually. Okay. Um, how long did it take? Like three hours, four hours? Only three hours. Well, seriously. Okay, it didn't take long. So it's not a big deal then, eh? Okay. I'm gonna get it redone on Tuesday. Oh, what's wrong with it? Um, the girl that did it made yeah. it too loose by the joke. Oh. So I can't wear it up in a ponytail or anything. Oh, I see. Or else it'll look funny. I see. I understand. So these are like extensions then? Yeah. Gotcha. Do you ever envy us guys? What's that? Do you ever envy us guys? What's that? Envy us because we don't have to do as much upkeep oh. and like all this extra stuff. Well, no, because I don't usually do my hair because I have naturally nice curly hair. Yeah. So it's not something I think about all the time. Okay. Um, but no, sometimes, sometimes I do wish that guys. <laughs> <laughs> we have it so easy in so you many just have ways. have to wake up and be like, okay, I, I... <laughs> There's a reason I have my hair like this. Be I thought about just shaving my hair. Though. Oh, really? I did. Okay. But no, I'm so jealous of guys. <laughs> we can change the subject. <laughs> uh, you know what I love is the way the sun shines on like green plants, like the grass right there. Oh yeah. It's just so beautiful, I think. Do you ever just sit and watch the sunrise? It's you know, I don't think I've sat down to do it, but I've no? definitely enjoyed it when I'm driving through it. Yes, absolutely. Hold on, you said the sunrise specifically as opposed to the sunset though. Because the sunrise is so cool. I don't want to say some sunsets are epic though. They are nice, but I like seeing like the sun. Like last time I sat down and watched the sunrise, it yeah. like starts off so nice and like Gentle. so pretty, yeah. and then it just blinds you. Uh, and it's just, the, just watching the sun come up is really cool. I see. And I've never sat down and watched the sunset. Right. And to do that, does that entail that you're a morning person? Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes I'm a morning person. You seem very young though, like. Yeah, 19. 19. Yeah. So it's not usually normal for like 19 year olds to be like, yeah, that's my jam. I'm gonna... <laughs> the guy says, what would you like to do for a date? Let's wake up and see the sunrise. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> that's something I would do. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. What's your ethnic background? Ethnic, um, I'm half Caribbean, half white. Okay. So my dad's from Barbados. I was so sure you were from like China or something. Really? No. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> really no, I'm just. Ah, shucks. <laughs> no, I was being facetious. So, what's your itinerary tonight? Oh, I'm just gonna go home. Oh, okay. I thought you were picking up from home. No, that's my mom's house. Oh, cool. I spent the night there last night. I see. Does that mean you guys get along pretty well? Yeah, we just made up a lot. Though, you on just her made birthday. up. Okay. So it's not always easy. <laughs> no, I think we stopped talking for a few months. Yeah. Now you're 19 years old. Yeah. I would say sometimes, actually a lot of times, I don't know, it seems parents have a tough time letting go. 
Is that the context that you're experiencing? Not at all. At all. No. Um, we are just. I think it's just because she likes to say that we're too much alike. Yeah. So we just we just don't get along half the time. Gotcha. Because I moved out when I was um, 17. Yeah. And I just haven't came back because she kicked me out. Oh, I see. Okay. So I was like that type, like, oh, you want to kick me out? Bet. I'm leaving. Yeah. And she expected me to come back, but I didn't. Oh, I see.
times when we did express vulnerability, maybe we cried once upon a time when we were young, we're like, that hurt, and, and we were looking for that compassion or comfort, right? But what we maybe got was ridicule or mocking or something that says, you know, step up, man up, or whatever, right? And so we learn, okay, this is not a safe place for me to express what I really feel on the inside, especially if I did something wrong. And if I put myself in that vulnerable spot, usually, almost like 98% of the time, most people think in terms of, if I put myself out there by way of vulnerability, even in any fraction of a sense, I'm gonna get creamed, I'm gonna get clobbered, I'm gonna get dismantled. And so the best way I, I know how to look after myself is to never let that zone out. And so if they're given the opportunity to take ownership saying, I was wrong, they're like, hell no, that is like scary territory. And I'm gonna like pretend as if I'm the one who's in the right or someone else will have the problem. That's what I'm suspecting. What do you think I of that? I do agree with that a lot. But and, I also agree that like the way people act are really the way they were raised. Yeah. I can so see So me that. just constantly thinking like I'm always in the wrong is just the way I was raised with my mom. Oh, I see. And she was always just like, you did that, you did that, I'd never do that, you did that. Yeah. And then like that one time I was just, I had enough with it, so I went off. I went off. Yeah. You had and enough, like your patience for what she was dishing out reached its maximum. Yeah. And then you kind of explode saying, I'm out yeah, here. That, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. And the tough part is a lot of times we don't see how that patience piece is like wearing down. We're like, okay, I think I can handle this. I'm going to put up with this until we don't have anything in the tank. It's kind of like me driving here. And if I don't watch my 